here we are going to see the working principle of nuclear reactor okay we know that nuclear reactors are the basic building blocks for a nuclear power plant so let us discuss about the working in detail here here you can see three things fuel elements control roots and moderators these three things are the essential components which are needed for the proper working of a nuclear reactor okay first we can discuss about fuel elements here you can see many number of fuel element rods these red portions okay these fuel elements are normally made up with uranium 235 or uranium 238 or thorium and that can be a visal material okay this fuel whenever we bombard this fuel element with an electron then what will happen this will splits into many and releases many number of electrons with a large amount of heat and these newly released electrons will again bombard with the the rest of fuel elements and newly formed elements then again releases many number of electrons with large amount of heat energy and this will be a continuous process this will be a continuous process due to this process large amount of heat energy will be generated inside this nuclear reactor okay for large nuclear power plants we can use many number of nuclear fuel element rods a bundle of fuel elements rods can be used for smaller small capacity for smaller power stations we can use lesser number of fuel elements okay there is a major function of fuel elements they can contain the atoms which is necessary for nuclear fission okay the next important component that is control rods we know that this nuclear fission is a chain process this will be a continuous process and a chain process so it is necessary to control the process for this we can use this control rods control rods the function of the control rod is to control the chain reaction they are normally made up of boron or cadmium material these control rods can absorb the electrons released after the nuclear fission so that can reduce the speed of bombardment of electrons with the other atoms and can control the speed of nuclear fission because this electrons are the major elements required for nuclear fission and these control elements will absorb this nuclear this electrons and thereby nuclear fission can control the speed of nuclear fission can control if we want to increase the speed of nuclear reaction then what can we do we can remove this control rods then we will get maximum amount of electrical we can generate maximum electrical energy from this nuclear power plant okay so that is the function of control rod to control nuclear fission operation okay the third important point that is element that is moderator moderators are nothing but they can control the speed of operation again okay they are we know that these fuel elements control rods these two essential things are placed inside this moderator this dotted portions will indicate moderator okay the major function of this moderator is to reduce the speed normally ordinary water or heavy water can used as the moderator in nuclear reactors 
we know that whenever the thermal electrons bombard with the fuel elements many number of electrons new electrons with large amount of heat will generates okay and this electron if we use ordinary water as a moderator then water molecules will sometimes opposes the flow of this electrons they can restrict the moment of electrons thereby the speed of moment of electron can control by using ordinary water as a moderator then if we use a heavy water as a moderator then what will happen deuterons present inside the heavy water will control the moment of electrons so the speed of operation can limit there is a function for a function of moderator in nuclear reactor okay and one more important point is that for fuel elements the diameter for the fuel element is normally of 1 cm in that is the diameter for fuel elements okay okay these are the major important points about nuclear reactor the basic requirements are nuclear elements control rods and moderators okay after the fission we know that large amount of heat will generates and this generated heat will contain carried by a hot metal and that will directly enter to the heat exchanger and here you can see some heat exchanging tubes and at this heat exchanger the steam will generate at the top of the heat exchanger steam will generate because this hot metal will passing through this feed water so we can collect the steam from the top of the heat exchanger and that steam will be having high temperature and high pressure and this high temperature and high pressured steam will directly passes to the steam valve and finally to the turbine and from the alternator we will get electrical energy okay this is the major working of nuclear reactor okay at nuclear reactor we will get large amount of heat energy okay due to nuclear fission nuclear elements control roots and moderators are the basic three elements required for nuclear reactor okay thank you